nestled in the San Joaquin Valley. We're in beautiful Fresno, California. And now the coin toss, and it's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. McKinney has the ball teed up, and we're just about ready to get this one started. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 28. The Bulldogs know that they can give this guy the ball, Kirk, 25, 30 times a game, and that's great. And if it's working, that's perfect. But also, as a defensive team, you look at him and you go, we worry about him too much. We could get burned somewhere else. Well, the defensive coach has told us this week the first thing that they have to do is stop this running game. And when, when you're convinced you have to stop the running game, you leave your defensive backs, especially your corners, isolated one-on-one -on -one in coverage. And if they're smart, they'll try to take advantage of that and try to make some big plays in the passing game, maybe early, and then go back to old reliable, and that's running the football. From their own 21-yard line, second down. They'll bring him down at the 33. You know what? After a play like that, I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if they went to the air again. They go with a screen here, and the halfback's got it. Knocked out of bounds right around the 36-yard line. Lynch to punt. He makes it to the 35-yard line. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Throws complete. He's got space to work. He's at midfield. He's taken down at the 41-yard line. Well, that's a big game there for the offense, and all that's doing is giving this quarterback more and more confidence. From the 41-yard line, first down. Rose, and he's right there to knock it away. Brad, this corner just made a great play on the football. And you wonder if he's starting to maybe get into the mindset of this quarterback, and maybe the quarterback's going to look in the other direction to try to come up with a completion. Quick out to his receiver. He's tackled at about the 33-yard line. They pick up good yardage that time on the pass play. Here they kind of put pressure on the quarterback and challenged him to find the hole in the defense. And in this case, he did. Nice job. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. And he's tackled around the 30-yard line. The running back gets the first. Well, the defense closed in on him pretty quickly, but not before he picked up just enough yards for the first. And they make the stop right around the 30. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 30. Brought down at the 18. I like the call here by the defense to bring the heat with the outside linebacker. It was just a better call by the offense, and that's why it's a first down. Takes a handoff. Tackled for a loss. And this is the eighth play of the drive.
Nice play to set up first and goal. He really showed some good speed there. I'll tell you, no question. When you talk about being able to turn on the Jets and leave everybody in the dust, you have to mention this young man. He's got skills, but his speed is what the pro scouts are drooling about. He tackles him for a loss. So he decides to hold on to it, and it goes nowhere. This is the 10th play of this drive. All right, what's up, y'all? Sorry, I'm... Oh, what's 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 going on? Okay. So, what is going on right now? All right, looks like we got Duke here. And down he goes at the seventh. The ball's on the six yard line, and we've got third and goal. Quick strike to the receiver, touchdown. And so he found his receiver for the score. You know, the closer you get to the end zone, the more difficult it becomes to throw the football because the field becomes much smaller to work with. But they did a very nice job there to come up with the touchdown. They got great concentration from everyone to connect on that flag pattern. And he converts the extra point. An 11-play, 65-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. So the score now, 7-0. And he's tackled at the 31. Duke's looking right now like they've got all three phases working for him so far, Kirk. Yep, it's early, but they are in control of this game. The defense is, seems to have a very good feel for what they're doing out there. The offense moved the ball down the field. Special teams, everything right now is really in sync for this team. And he's taken down around the 39-yard line. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Tackle made at the 46. At about the 43-yard line. Second and six coming up here. All on the 43. Sorry, I'm hopping in kind of late. Let's see. Looks like we got Fresno and Dog in them here. Getting a good six yards there. Third and inches. Sorry, I'm hopping in a little late. I was out. So got Jackson Bridges here. One, oh, the option, and he loses yards. That's going to bring up fourth down there for Fresno State. They'll line it up for a And we're going to see a long field goal here. It looks like a 56 yarder right now. 56, 57, somewhere in there. And it's got the distance. Oh, wide right. But it just kept slicing to the right. That's a tough break. 
As now we're going to see Duke taking over here at the 40. C.J. Jones dropping back, hits the receiver, Don Jones for a good gain of 12 right there. From the 48-yard line, it's first down. It's first down. No, C.J. Jones here, empty backfield. Looks like the tight end is in motion. And he's able to hit his receiver, Jairus Moody, there for a good gain of four. We're going to see second and six now for Duke as they are inside Fresno State territory down at the 44-yard line. And C.J. Jones here dropping back and lets that one rip and... Nice catch there by Dante Chambers in double coverage. And he was able to break two tackles before finally being taken down inside the Duke 10. Looks like he's down at the 9 there. First and goal for Duke here. And nice pitch there to Maverick Rivers. He gains a good four yards there. It's him down to the five. And second goal here, handoff to Maverick Rivers, who is able to get to the line of scrimmage, but nothing else after that. This is a big play for the offense. Third and goal now. Two scores. It's third down from the four. And C.J. Jones drops back and hits his receiver, Amanda Bover, for a nice four-yard touchdown. As that brings Duke up even more than they were. They're up 13-0. A little under two and a half minutes to go here in the first quarter. And the extra points up and good. That's a six-play, 59-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Results in a touchdown. So our score. So our score. 14 nothing. 14 nothing. McKinney, McKinney. Ready to kick. Ready to kick. And here comes the return from Fresno State. They got Harry Hammond. The Blue Devils have found a way to shut this offense down, but hey, it's still early in a football game. Yeah, give them a lot of credit. Looking at that. The total yards there has definitely been. Not be surprised to see this story of why the score is the way it is. And start to execute much Duke better. definitely has more offensive yards, as we're going to see a nice option and run there, pitched out to dog in them for a little gain of two. Second and eight. Ball on the 28-yard line. Jackson Bridges here. Nice option read, very nice option read as he trucks through one, breaks another tackle, and is finally tackled down after a really good game there. Gets him out to the 45. And we're going to see a first and 10 here from Fresno State. Bridges takes the snap, fakes the handoff there to Inum, and hits Clutch Grab for a gain of 19 yards. It was a really nice catch by him. From the and it was enough for first down as they're now inside Duke territory. And ha oh, fake handoff here to dog in them as Bridges tries running it, but lost nine. Smoky Bandit on the tackle for loss or sack there. When to take a chance on third down. And it seems like they almost saved their extra pass rush and extra incentive as far as their, their energy when it really matters on a third down. They feel like they can beat that offensive tackle and get off the line of scrimmage a little bit quicker. And that's something that I think we've seen him do throughout this game. And a handoff here to dog in him as he is going to get a huge gain, able to get the first and then a few yards after that. Nice 23-yard run there by Dog Inham. Gets him down to about the 23-yard line of Duke. And 
Bridges here taking the snap, fake handoff to Dog Inham, and he ended up losing some yards there. Loss of three, Amanda Bilbert on the tackle. Second and 13 now for Bridges. And Bridges takes a snap, hands off to Dog Inham, who is able to almost get the first down. Just shorts, third and this inches now. Amanda Beauvair on that tackle there. And Jackson Bridges takes the snap, hands off to Dog Inham, and he's able to get inside the five. Get some first down. And first and goal now. Bridges takes a snap, hands off there to Inham for the touchdown. As Fresno State is finally able to put some points up on the board. 14 to 6, pending the extra point. And he adds the extra point. So a nine play, seventy five yard drive. And they put up seven points. It was really those long runs that really helped propel that drive. As they make the extra point there, kick off here, going back to Duke. And he's just going to take a kneel in the end zone. That'll bring him out to the what, twenty? Twenty-five? The offense now will take the field. Twenty-five. They hope to have the same success they had on their last drive. Great passing was the key for the offense the last time they had the ball. And here comes C.J. Jones. The oh, fake handoff there to Maverick Rivers, but he just gets swallowed up. They give credit there to Stan J. Watt. Can easily get fooled and give up some big yards through the air. Get second and fourteen now here for Duke. Ball on the 21 yard line. Duke is up by a touchdown. And CJ Jones dropping back here. Little Jerry dump off pass there to Jairis Moody for a gain of five. And that's going to be the end of the first quarter. 14 7. 14 to 7. Duke over Fresno right now. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. In the second quarter. And here's C.J. Jones dropping back. It's Jairus Moody there for no gain. And we're going to see Duke punting the ball off here. And a nice return there by Harry Hammond. 18-yard return. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation. Get some in Duke territory down at the 47. And a handoff there to dog in on gain of eight on that run. It's second down and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Two yards away from the sticks. And snap here, drops back, able to hit his receiver, Aki Hernandez, gets him the first down, only a gain of three there. And the quarterback didn't waste any time getting rid of that one. He took the snap and he threw it right out there. And another handoff there, dog in him, and he is able to get a nice run there. Gets him another first down. First and ten. First Ball and on the twenty-two yard Ball line. Ball on the twenty-two yard line. And another, oh, fakes the handoff, and he is, Jackson Bridges, able to get rid of that ball. job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions, and especially when the defense starts to get And we're going to see Bridges here in the backfield. Check it down or take off and run with it. And handoff there to Dog and um he was not able to get back to the line of scrimmage. A loss of two. Anthony Simmons on that one. From the twenty three yard, yard line. Third down. And we're gonna see empty backfield here for Jackson Bridges. 
as he's dropping back and almost threw an interception there. Nice defense by Marcus Carter. That was not the greatest throw there. And they're going to go for a field goal here. Try to put some points back up on the board. Get them a little closer, and they're able to make that field goal there. And score 14 to 10, Duke over Fresno. As Duke's getting the ball back here. And they're just going to take a kneel in the end zone, bring it out to the 25. Momentum swings have been fairly even. We're going to see what CJ Jones can do with this Duke offense here. As he's dropping back, and ooh, gets a and his receiver is unable to hold on to that one, as he was leveled right as he caught the ball. Empty backfield now for C.J. Jones, and he's able to get Dante Chambers there for a gain of three. Not really ideal for what they're looking for right now, but they got third and seven right now. As C.J. Jones dropping back, hits Moody there, or no, not Moody, that's Maverick Rivers there on the screen, just short of the first down. As Duke is now going to punt the ball away, back to Fresno State here. And Harry Hammond on the 13-yard return there. Because this is what they Man was so just well. trucking Robert through. The defense knew that, and they're playing better right now. I think you have to give the defense yeah, all the, the defense credit in the world here in the first half. I mean, first you know, granted, they're, they're giving up some yards, yards to this running back. This he's running back. making some plays. All right, right. now we're going to see Jackson Bridges here hand off to Dog Inum. And, oh, I don't know if he hit them or they hit him harder, but he went down after a gain of six. here on second down. Gave the credit there to Manuel Bover. And here's an option. Nice pitch there to dog in him as he is able to get the first down. Out just shy of midfield here. First and ten now for Fresno State. Handoff there to dog in him. Crossing into Duke territory. Gets a nice seven-yard rush there. Brings up second and three for Fresno. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards. Down at about the 43-yard line here. And Jackson Bridges fakes the handoff there. Tries to get something, but he loses two yards on that run. Smokey Bandit with that one there. That tackle for loss or sack. I don't know what they credit that one as. Third and four now for Fresno State. Jackson Bridges taking the snap here, and he is taken. Oh, Bridges just stiff-arming people to, like, no tomorrow. Finally ends up getting tackled there. Loss of three. Broke through two tackles. And we're going to see Fresno State pump the ball back to Duke. And that one is going back through the end zone there. Puts him down in, at their own 20 here. CJ Jones taking the snap as he drops back and is able to hit Amanda Bovere. Immediately stopped after catching the ball. Gain of five. Yeah, second and five now here for Duke. And drop back, C.J. Jones hits Amanda Bovera again for a gain of seven. Gets him the first down. As they're driving this ball down the field at the 32-yard line now. C.J. Jones taking the snap and gets rid of that one. Didn't like what he saw there, so he just threw that away. And now we're going to see second and ten here. C.J. Jones gets the snap, drops back, 
and hits Dante Chambers for a gain of four on that or that one. Third and six now for Duke. CJ Jones here, dropping back, and hits his receiver, Bo Ver, able to get the first down a couple yards afterwards. It's this Duke offense here, first and 10, the 44-yard line now. CJ Jones in shotgun, takes the snap, and dumps it off to Ash Cadillo. But he ended up losing a few yards on that one there. Loss of three. He's going to bring up second and 13 now for Duke. And CJ Jones lined up under center here. And he's going to drop back and get it off to his receiver. Looked like... Number six, Jairis Moody, able to get the first down, and they're now inside Fresno territory down at the 45-yard line. C.J. Jones lined up on a shotgun, hand up there to hand off there to Rivers, able to get two yards out of it. From the 43-yard line, it's second down. It's second down. And C.J. Jones here in shotgun. Three receivers at the bottom of the screen. And able to hit Moody again for a nice 12-yard gain there on that one. And empty backfield now. C.J. Jones takes the ball, drops back, and hits Cash Cadillo. He was able to gain 13 on that. So that's his second reception of the night. It's first down. Get some first down as they are inside the red zone now. And a handoff here to Maverick Rivers, who's able to get a nice five-yard gain on that run. Bringing up second and five. Here's the 12th play of the drive. And C.J. Jones lined up under center. And nice dump off there to Jairus Moody. Gets him a gain of seven. And a first down as they are inside the 10. Looks like at the 6 or 7 yard line here. C.J. Jones drops back and gets Jairus Moody for the touchdown. As that increases Duke's lead 20 to 10. Pending the extra point here. And they're going to drill that extra point there. Now, ball going back to Fresno State. And that one is going to come out. And he's able to get that one to about the 30. Harry Hammond on the return there. Their last drive broke down and they punted. What do they have in store this time? Let's see what Jackson Bridges can do here. First down. And he's going to take the option run there. Gets a gain of three on that run. Bring up second and seven. It's second down. Bridges here in the shotgun, taking the snap, dropping back, and hits a receiver, DJ McFadden, for a gain of four. That was not a pretty pass there, but lucky to get the catch. Third and three now, Fresno State. Jackson Bridges hands it off to Dog Inham, who gets stuffed behind the line. Fourth and four. As Fresno State's now punting the ball back to Duke. Get up field as quickly as possible. In college football, and especially up in the NFL, the more you're dancing around, waiting for big play. Moody on the return, able to get nine yards out of that one. 
Duke's been playing like, play like a well oiled machine, oiled machine in this first in this half. First half. Are we going to see more of the same in the second? Well, I think as long as they can oh, here's CJ Jones. Line, I think they've got a great shot to be able to pull away and win this game decisively. But the shotgun taking the snap and looking for a receiver, able to connect with one. Maverick Rivers gets a gain of 12 there. Is there approaching midfield now? It's first and ten. Actually, at midfield right now, with minute twenty-eight and counting. C.J. Jones dropping back, dumps it off again to Rivers, who is just plowing through defenders, but finally taken down after a gain of two. What started off as a loss, Maverick just pushed right through that one. And Jones here again in shotgun. Drops back and lasers that one to Dante Chambers again at 22. Good catch by him as he drug his foot in there. So the referee initially calls it a catch. They're going to review it. Determine if he was in bounds when he hauled it in. And that play happened so fast that it was very tough to tell if he was in That's even good on Sundays. So they review so they it, but review there's just it, not enough evidence, not to, enough overturn evidence to overturn this one. From the 27-yard line. line. First down. First no down. evidence to overturn it. We're going to see C.J. Jones here lining up under center. He's gonna and he's, he's going to take this one, run with it himself, as he's able to get that first down. A nice 10-yard gain there by C.J. Jones. Duke using up their second timeout now. And gets a man in motion over to the top of the screen here. Hand off to Rivers. Stiff arms. One receiver. Or one defender. My bad. And gets them inside the 10. Looks like they're at the 6-yard line. First and goal. And C.J. Jones here dropping back. And just decides to get rid of that one. Stop the clock with 45 seconds left. They got 2nd and goal now at the 6. And a pitch out to Maverick Rivers here. And he is just swarmed. Loss of 4 there. They're down at the 10-yard line now. Third and goal. C.J. Jones drops back and way overthrows his receiver. 30 seconds left here. Fourth and goal now. And we're going to see Duke here kicking up a field goal. And points are points. Duke going to take the three on that one. Gets him up 24 to 10. 28 seconds left for Fresno to do something before the half. And here comes the return. And running into people, but Harry Hammond gets it. Nice 30-yard return there. Puts him out to the 29-yard line. Jackson Bridges in shotgun here. As he takes the snap, drops back, and dumps it off to... Oh, unable to connect on that one there. It's second and ten. Second and ten. Ball on the twenty-nine. Ball on the twenty-nine. Bridges here drops back and hits Brett Tavian. Thirteen-yard gain there. And they use their first time out of the half. 16 seconds left. Bridges taking the snap. Drops back. All day in the pocket. Just sitting there. Let's it fly. And unable to connect with his receiver on that one. Brings up second and ten. Nine seconds left here in the second quarter. And Bridges here. Shotgun taking the snap. And launches that one. Hits Brett Tavian again for a gain of 24, and they are going to kick a long 52-yard field goal here. Five seconds left in the half. And he makes it. That takes Duke's lead down. 24-13 now with two seconds left. Fresno State, 13. They might just want to squib this one. Only a few seconds left here before halftime. 
And they're just going to take a kneel in the end zone. Moody not taking that one out, giving them two seconds to run a single play. Let's see what Duke can do here and what they're going to do here. And looks like a handoff here to Rivers, who has all day for all the room in the world. Just 27-yard gain. If he would have broke that one tackle, he would have been gone. But we're going to run into halftime now. 24-13, Duke over Fresno State. Now, so far, neither, now, so far, defense, neither defense has been able to force, one in, force one in this game, but you never know when that, but you never know when that opportunity is going to come up. No, and people look, no, at, and turnovers people look at turnovers and they assume, and they assume, that, they assume that, that it's locked a lot of times, but a lot of times, times, it's, lot of times it's preparation. It's being able to know, able to know that, that when certain teams, when certain teams line up South like South Carolina back in 2002 in a certain formation where it's Tucson open stuff, and they got three receivers to my side, and I know it's a rollout pass. As a defensive end, I widen my stance a little bit, came up field, hit the quarterback as he was throwing, the next thing you know, the ref signals his hands up signals in the air, and you get six, six, points, get six so points for it. So you can definitely be, you can prepared, definitely be prepared, and that's how you, force, that's how you those force those turnovers. David and I will be David keeping, will an, eye be keeping an eye on your game and everything else going on in the country, going on here, in the country and here and our and comfortable surroundings in the studio. Best seat in the house. Long to Brad Nessler in her first street. All right, Reese David. All right, Reese thanks, David. Guys. Thanks, guys. Just about set, about set, set the third quarter. The third quarter. He sends this one deep. He sends this one deep. All right, and Duke's getting the ball back here. Moody just going to take the knee. It's going to bring him out to the 25-yard line. And we're just about set to get going again. And nice pass there on the first play. Dante Chambers gain a 32. We talk all the time about the emotions of college football. This play was definitely an emotionally charged play. What a way for the wideout to make a statement in this game. Now it's first and 10 with a defense trying to regroup. Trying to regroup after giving up the big pass. Giving up the big pass. And here's C.J. Jones dropping back, and he's just going to throw that one away. It's second and ten now. And C.J. Jones here dropping back all day to throw. Dumps it off there to Don Jones for a gain of eight for Duke. Going to bring up a third and two. It's third down, and they're about, down, two about two shy yards of shy of the sticks. And C.J. Jones here lined up under center, hands it, oh, fakes the handoff there to Maverick Rivers, and dumps that one off to Derek London, who only gained a yard and is just shy of the first down. Brings him fourth and in inches here for a 50-yard field goal. And he's going to, oh, he missed it. Just barely missed that one. Some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. And now we're going to see Fresno State. Under heavy pressure. And a nice pass there to Stanley Steamer, the tight end. Gain a 25 on his first catch of the night. First and 10. First and 10. All on the 42 yard line. All on the 42 yard line. And the handoff here to Dog Enum, and he is able to get a nice 11-yard gain there on first down. Gets him another first down inside Duke territory now, down at 31. And here comes Bridges with the option run. He gets two off of it. Brings up second and eight now. 
It's second and eight. Second and eight. Ball of the 29. Ball of the 29. And here comes Jackson Bridges and shotgun taking the snap. Drops drops back and lets the ball fly way over his receiver's head. Good defense there, covering up the receivers as Bridges had nowhere to throw that. And dropping back, hits his receiver, DJ McFadden, for a gain of 21, brings him inside the 10. First and goal now here for Fresno State. Down at the eight here, we got Fresno State, Jackson Bridges in shotgun. Takes a snap here, hands off, delayed handoff to Dog Inum. Able to get a couple yards there, maybe. As he brings it inside the five, down at the four yard line. They line up in the jumbo set. Jumbo set. Yeah, I formation here. Bridges hands it off, and Ronnie McDonnie loss of one. He, wasn't about to he was just away. swallowed up at the line. This is the play of the drive. Brings up third and goal now. And dropping back and dumps that one off to Aki Hernandez, who's able to get in for the touchdown. As score now, 24-19, pending the extra point. And the extra point is up and good. Gets Fresno State up to 20. Still down by or to Duke. 6-17 left here in the third. 24-20 Duke as Moody is just going to take that one down on a knee. Bring him out to the 25. Well, Brad, I think what I've seen is they were just doing too much in the first half. They've streamlined their attack, and I think it's made it a little bit easier for their players to understand what to do, and they're playing a lot faster. Duke is up four. And he's tackled the three. Everett Rivers gets a nice run there, gain of 11 on first down. From their own 36-yard line, first down. And now we're going to see C.J. Jones here. And shotgun drops back. And all day in the pocket there to throw. And he just throws that one away. Second down here. C.J. Jones drops back. And hits a screen there to Rivers. He ended up losing three on that one. But you have to also recognize that the defense made a great play. They read it from the get-go. From their own 32-yard line. Two yard line. It's third down. It's third down. And CJ Jones here taking the snap, drops back, hits a screen off to Rivers who's able to get five out of it, but not enough to get them the first down. Brings up fourth and eight now as Duke is punting the ball away. Hammond is back to receive. To receive. Tackle made. Tackle made. And Hammond gets a nice 13-yard return on that one. And Bridges here takes the ball and on the, the option the there, gets a nice gain of 12. First down, 10, First down, to, go. 10 to go. Ball on the 47. Ball on the 47. Gets to around gets the 42. To around the 42. Nice gain of 11 there by Dog Inum. 
No, Jackson Bridges here, Dog Enum in the backfield. And the handoff there to Dog Enum, who gets out to about the 40. Second and eight now. Second and eight coming up here. Coming up here. Ball on the 41. On the 41. Jackson Bridges takes a snap, drops back, and able to hit his receiver, DJ McFadden, for a gain of five. And another handoff here to Dog Enum, who gets tripped up after a single yard gain. It's fourth down. Fourth down. They'll call on the, They'll field, call goal on the field goal unit. A really long field goal. Oh, wait. No, this is about normal. 51 yard field goal here from Fresno State as it is up, and he is able to make that one. It is now a one point game here in the third quarter 23 to 24. Duke is up Fresno over State Fresno State. For the he kicks it off, and he got it off, and he got it off. He's to the 20. He's to the 20. And he's taken down. And, he's taken at the down. and Moody with a nice return, 28-yard return there. Let's just sloppy execution on offense. So whether they're turning the ball over, or they're or they're the or the the front, front. This is just not an offense right now. And, right now. And, and, they they their and here's CJ Jones lined up under center. Man in motion, handoff here to Maverick Rivers, who just gets swallowed up for a loss of two. Harry Hammond with the tackle on that one. Brings up second and 12 now. Duke is up one. Is up one. And CJ Jones here dropping back. Hits his receiver. That's going to be Don Jones for a gain of 15. And first down here, C.J. Jones taking the snap, drops back, dumps it off there to Cash Cadillo, who was able to get to the line of scrimmage, but not having a whole lot of luck getting much further. So it's second and six. All on the 41. And, oh, Rivers just gets smacked in the backfield. Loss of two, Pierre Leclerc. In coverage on that little half screen. Third and two. Or third, my bad. Third and 12 after the loss of two. CJ Jones taking the snap, drops back under... Heavy pressure, able to get Amanda Bover for a gain of 37. Now it's first and ten after the big pass play. The big pass play. And here's C.J. Jones with a fake handoff there to Rivers and dumps it off to Cash Cadillo, who was able to get a gain of four. Not a whole lot coming out of him tonight. Four receptions, 14 yards. We're going to see second and six now. Handoff there to Rivers. Nice run there. Able to get the first down. We're him just outside the 10. Empty backfield here for C.J. Jones. Dropping back and hits Jairus Moody for a gain of five. He gets absolutely swallowed up there. We've got a second and five. All on the seven-yard line. Seven line. 
And a handoff there to Rivers, who's able to get a nice game there of four. Brings up a third and a manageable two there for Duke. At the four yard line now. Watch out for a pass play when you're in a goal line you're D. In a goal line D. And pitch out there to Maverick Rivers, but he is not able to get back to the line of scrimmage. A loss of two. It's fourth down. It's fourth down. They'll line up and they're going to take a nice little 22 yard field goal here. And that'll increase their lead back up to four. Duke up 27 to 23 here. And a nice return there by Harry Hammond. Fresno State here. And Bridges taking that one there. Stiff arms one defender, pushing away another before he finally gets tackled. From the looks of it, inside Duke territory, down around the 43, I think, is where he stepped out. First down, 10, First down, yards, 10 to yards to go. All on the 41-yard line. 41 yard line. Bridges here on the nice, on the quick screen there to Brett Tavian, who ended up losing a yard on that first down screen. Smokey Bandit with the tackle there, second and 11 now for Fresno State. And dropping back here is Bridges, taking off. He was able to get back to the line of scrimmage, but nothing further than that. Third and 11 now for Fresno State. Bridges here in shotgun. Strength on the bottom of the screen here. And he dumps it off there to dog in him, but only able to gain one. As that drive was quickly put to a stop by this Duke defense. A long 57-yard field goal here for Fresno State. And it had the distance, but was not quite able to make it in the uprights. And that's going to be the end of the third quarter here. Y'all throw your fours up in chat. It do be that time now. Duke is up 27 to 23 going into the fourth. All right, we're just about set to start about action set to start here again action in the fourth quarter. The fourth quarter. Both teams both and we're going to see CJ Jones and this Duke offense here taking over. Handoff there to Rivers gets smacked at the line of scrimmage. No gain for him there. Brings up second and ten now. Second down and second ten, down to and ten to go. All on the forty-one All yard, on the 41 line. yard line. CJ Jones takes a snap, hands it off to Rivers, who was able to get a gain of one. That run game not really being that effective when this Fresno State defense is blitzing like they are. CJ Jones here in shotgun. Drops back and lets that one fly to Amanda Bovair for a gain of 16. Gets this Duke offense inside Fresno territory down at the 42. First and 10 now. C.J. Jones empty backfield and lets that one to Amanda Bovair again. Gain of 8. As they're starting to drive down the field. Brings up second and 2 now for Duke. Shotgun formation here. C.J. Jones taking the snap and 
Option read there. Good read by Jones, not handing it off to Rivers. He was smacked in the backfield. Jones gets a gain of nine and a first down at the Fresno State 25. And fake handoff there to Rivers, and C.J. Jones dumps it off there to Dante Chambers, who gets a nice gain of 12 there. Don Jones has been one of their main receivers tonight. First and 10, inside the 15, C.J. Jones drops back and hits Dante Chambers. Gain a 9 there, bringing up second and 1. He's been a big receiver tonight as well. Duke holds, Duke a, four holds a four point lead. Second and one here. CJ Jones lined up under center, dropping back. And I think he was trying to take off with that one, but he ended up getting taken down. Loss of three on that one. I don't know who they gave that credit to, but it is third They're and four. Third down. Third down. C.J. Jones, and fake handoff there, good read option by him, and he was just short of the end zone there, first and goal, down pretty much at the goal line here. Jones lined up under center, handoff to Rivers, who was able to get in there for a touchdown. Gets him up two scores now, 33 to 23. That was a very good all-around effort. The running, the blocking, the entire package. A well-deserved score. Ending the extra point here, as that is up and good. Duke is up, 34 to 23. Six and a half left here in this fourth quarter. As the kick is up, sending it away to Fresno State. He's at the with Harry line. Hammond there on the return. It's a new possession it's a new for this offense. Offense. So Just under six and a half minutes to go here in this fourth quarter. We got Jackson Bridges lined up with Dog in him behind him. He's going to hand it off to in him, and he's able to get a gain of five there. As this clock is just ticking on down. Here comes Fresno State again. Second and five. Jackson Bridges. And fakes the handoff there on the read option. But ends up losing a yard anyways. As Duke just shut him right down. And Bridges here. Empty backfield. Third and six. Bridges drops back and hits his man, able to get across the first yard line. That Stanley Steamer on the reception there. And we're going to see Jackson Bridges here. Fakes a handoff to Dog Enum and ultimately just throws that one away. Brings up second and ten now for Fresno State. Bridges dropping back and decides to take off as he just gets swarmed for a loss of three. Called that one a sack there. I don't know where they placed the ball, but it looks like the 39. Third and 13. Fresno State taking the ball, dropping back, and dump off past the dog in him, who did not have the dog in him on that one, as he only got, eh, I don't know why I'm saying he only got, he ended up losing two yards there. Bring up fourth and 15 now as Fresno State punts the ball away. Lynch awaits the snap. Awaits the snap. And 
Oh, Moody hit real hard after that two-yard return. It's been fun to watch him because he's doing everything you want to see in a quarterback. He's making the right read, he's getting the ball out of his hands on time, and it's giving his receivers a chance to make the play and get up field. And the thing that's really helped him here is his decision-making continues to be consistent. It's allowing this offense to move the ball down the field and put the ball to the end zone. And the crowd's been neutralized by his performance, so that's one more positive for these guys. This offense threw the ball extremely well in their right hand. Jones here taking a snap. He's going to hand this one off to Rivers, who is able to get a nice 11 yard gain there. From their own 35 yard line. First down. First down. And we're going to see C.J. Jones here on this first and ten. Hand it off again to Rivers, who blasts through one defender. Gets eight yards on that gain there. Pierre Leclerc credited for that tackle. And C.J. Jones takes this one here on the option read. Gets it out to the midfield on a gain of seven. Gets them a nice first down. I guess they gave him really nice placement. As this one at the Fresno State 45. T.J. Jones the hits his receiver the there. Number 81, Don Jones. Gets him six, and it is second and four. T.J. Jones drops back and way overthrew his receiver on that one. Better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions, and especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run it. And C.J. Jones here drops back, hits his receiver, Don Jones, again for a gain of 10. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 33-yard line. And C.J. Jones here with a handoff to Maverick Rivers. Gets a good three-yard gain on that one. And this is the eighth play, the the play of the drive. Find his man and they, take him, man and they take him down immediately. Third down again. Third down again. And third and two here from the 25-yard line. C.J. Jones taking the snap here. Lined up on her center as they are winding this clock down. Any time now. And... C.J. Jones dumps that one off to Jairus Moody for a gain of 10. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 15-yard line. Just under three to go in regulation. Yeah, what he said. First and 10 here as C.J. Jones lined up in shotgun as they are just winding this clock down. Anytime now. Eventually they will snap the ball. And here it is. A dump off pass there to Maverick Rivers. Able to get two yards off of that one. Fresno State uses their first time out. It's second down. It's second down. And another handoff here to Rivers. Looks like maybe he got a yard. Fresno State used their second time. Like third and seven now for Duke. Handoff here to Rivers. Bouncing out, but unable to get anything out of it. Fourth and eight now as Fresno State uses their last time out. 
Makes you a little bit more and Duke looking for a nice little 30 yard chip shot here. And there it is. Able to make it a two score game. 37 to 23. As Fresno State taking the ball back at the 23. We've got a minute 45 here. Oh, they gave him really nice field position. Okay, they put him at the 25. Jackson Bridges here dropping back. Let's a ball fly and unable to connect with his receiver there. Trevor Hauser on the defense or on the coverage there. Ball on the 25 yard line. And Jackson Bridges here looks like he's going deep again and able to connect with Stanley Steamer, the tight end, as they're rushing to the line. Just under two get set here. First and ten. Bridges here dropping back. Hits dog in on for a dump off pass for a yard as the clock is still running here. Bridges just spikes the ball there. Down, Brings up third and nine. They spread the field spread in the, the gun, field with, in five the gun with five wide receivers. Bridges here, empty backfield, drops back, lets it fly, hits a wide open receiver, Brett Tavian, for a gain of 34. Gets him inside the 10. First and goal now, Fresno State trying to make a comeback here. It's like he was down at about the four-yard line. Minute, it's about a minute ten here, and a nice dump off pe er, pitch there to Dog Enum, who's able to bring it into the end zone for a Fresno State touchdown. Fresno trying to stay in the game here. Brings it back to okay. Shut up. Nobody asked you, Herb Street. And the extra point here brings it within seven now. 37 to 30 with a minute six left. Here comes the onside kick for Fresno State. And that one looks like it just went out of bounds. So that's going to give Duke. Uh, what? So the offense will so take, offense over, will with take over with pretty good field the position. Kick the onside kick just wasn't successful, wasn't there. successful the kicker there. Really the kicker really didn't get So that's going to throw him you know this is a real you know inside the Fresno's field now. And they're just going to take a win. So that's, yeah, that's going to be the end of it. As Duke takes down Fresno State. 37 to 30. Good game there. Both sides of the, Why are they... They're running a play. Okay, cool. And he's taken down. Uh, Rivers gets a gain of two, I guess, because they decided to run a play. Uh, that's going to be the end of it, though. Uh, Duke, y'all taking home a win over Fresno State here. 37-30. to 30. As a positive, their star player had a great game. They just got a little bit had you lose a, game to be a lot of yards, if there is anything to be 148 yards about that performance by this individual in this really loss over Duke. He could do to try to win this football game, this football unfortunately, game, unfortunately the team ends up losing, but they can't build yeah, the that's gonna be all for me for this game. Duke 37, Fresno State 30, and uh, yeah. I'm out. Peace.